ladies and gentlemen. Uh, me, Brenton, and Wavy, we have made it uh, almost 450 miles to Key West, which is, and we made it down to the Bobber, which is the southernmost point of uh, the United States. Be nice to get some pictures up there with the scooters in front of it, but as you can see, it's really, really busy down here. Um, a lot busier than I thought it would be. Um, so I don't know, we'll maybe get a scooter picture first thing in the morning or maybe in the evening or something like that. So we're trying to explore and do some door dashing, see if we can make a buck or two and get ready to go have some beers. Uh, love the festivity attitude down here, everything going on. See you guys in a bit. guys we're down at Mallory Square here and this is kind of more the, the rich island or whatever and I think that's I don't know if that's Astoria I don't want to remember what that name is that's Christmas Island or um, I, I've always heard it referred to as Christmas Island the big anchorage down here but I this is not appealing to me down here for the anchorage it's I don't like the anchorage and I don't like I heard a ton of stuff has been stolen down here lots of dinghy motors Well, Key West, uh, you don't see it a lot, but you uh, see a cruise ship come in here from time to time if you're around, and it's just always pretty pretty crazy to see just how massive they are. Um, All right, guys, with a dive knife and a coconut, welcome to the Keys. That stuff is so damn good. It's so amazing. It is. It tastes awesome. I mean, they take a straw and put that in there and hand it to a tourist, five bucks. <laughs> Well, guys, we are back in here in the old Boca Chica area for a little uh, campfire and a little remote uh, stealth camping. It's worked out really well, which I kind of knew about the place and figured it would be good. But, you know, I had to get uh, Brenton's opinion and okay on it because he's kind of the master at it. So it uh, turned out good. The only the only bad part, which I knew, is, is the no see They are... They're a little relentless, so we threw a little fire going just to uh, kind of try to calm them a little bit. But uh, but they'll be all right. We'll get we'll get through her. Tomorrow's going to be a DoorDash day for me to make some money, and Brenton's going to explore Key West and come back with a smile on his face, I'm sure, and saying, "Oh my God, this place is awesome." <laughs> you know you've seen a little bit of this but this is back in here uh we're on our way out um, we have made basically key west but we are on our way out the ocean's really calm today finally the weather has finally straightened out i mean it's almost actually hot this morning already you could ride in shorts and t-shirt and stuff so um finally but i'm going in and do some door dashing and try to make i'm hoping i can make at least three four hundred bucks here uh the next four days we've got another line of attack with where we might be able to fish on new year's day so we hate to give that up and not do it so uh with my buddy paul and go out and see if we can't get some fish so you know you'd like to in, in encompass all the goodies and all the fun stuff this got tore up by hurricane i guess i didn't know it, it wasn't anything like this last year but uh they're fixing things and gonna do something i'm not sure what their plan is but well guys i didn't put a I did not put a lot up uh, on this video because, you know, I've been to Key West nine times, down in the Keys that many times. 
I don't know what else to put up anymore. You know, the keys are what the keys are the keys. I've done tons of videos of it. There just ain't a whole lot more to put up. I've got some other footage I'll put up here on the next video of being around here a little bit. But uh, anyway, we I have uh, we spent about four or five days here in Key West, just kind of doing things, bumming around. We are working our way out because we're going to go to Largo, Key Largo, and my buddy's going to take us. We're going to go out and do some fishing. And we got a little party to go to for um, 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 New Year's Eve. And um, we're going to camp tonight to a little spot. And I'll, I'll video some of that stuff. But, uh, you know, like I said, you've seen most of it. So we, we door dashed a little, did what we, you know, what I could anyway. We're going to kind of continue up the East Coast a little bit. And uh, I'm going to do some more door dashing and kind of do a big circle. And I got to get back and work on a boat that uh, some other people have. They're going to pay me to clean it up. So I'll do that and uh you know clean my boat up a little more and try and market it to get that sold and um yeah just uh, basically just kind of gets try and keep trying to get stuff done so anyway that's about it guys we will talk to you on the next video i appreciate you watching hit that subscribe button hit the like button hit the uh bell notification so you'll uh, know when something else gets back up if you feel like it throw something in the tip jar it's always appreciated a buck or two for some coffee some fuel or a beer or something like that um until the next video guys peace out from the wayne diaries My name is Wayne and this is the Wayne Diaries channel. It's kind of a channel about travel and exploration and just everyday journeys living off the grid. Uh, we've done a ton of stuff in the past 15 years. We have actually been off grid. We've built out a couple of school buses. We've built a couple of tiny houses. We've taken four boats from uh, Lake Michigan here in uh, northern Michigan all the way down to the uh, Florida Keys. We took one boat over to the Bahamas and uh, we've just traveled all over the United States. We've done a lot of seasonal work, working up in the mountains and stuff in uh, out west in the ski resorts, and then uh, a little bit of work on some farms and stuff in the East Coast. And uh, we do some, uh, you know, gigs and stuff like that, uh, some side hustles and things of that nature. But uh, life just consumes of uh, being uh, kind of working and uh, living out outside the box, I guess, a little bit. Uh, um, I've kind of been doing that probably ever since I was 15, 16, or even maybe even 14. Uh, it's always been uh, camping, fishing, and uh, canoeing, and hiking, and I've taken a dog sled uh, um, trip across the um, northern Michigan and the Upper Peninsula. I used to have 115 uh, Alaskan Huskies, and I used to have a dog sled touring business, And uh, but that was way before YouTube, so we didn't have any, uh, I don't have a whole lot of footage of that except for pictures, but... Uh, yeah, we've done a lot of really cool stuff, and I'm always out there trying to help people to kind of achieve these uh, dreams and these goals of what they might want to do. Um, you know, I'm currently working on a shuttle bus, uh, building it out and using that to get around. I've got a 30-foot uh, cabin cruiser in Florida right now that's uh, just being stored that we spent winter on last year, and we'll go down and spend a little bit more time, but we are going to do some work on uh, finding another sailboat. Our goal, our main goal, one of our big goals is we would like to take, and I say we, it's me and my daughter. She went with me on one trip from Michigan with the sailboat all the way to the Keys and then up the east coast of uh, Florida and stuff. But uh, one of the big things we would like to do is get a 36-foot sailboat sail into the Caribbean and then on down to Mexico. <clears throat> kind of spend... Uh, you know, a year or so down there. But uh, yeah, if you like uh, adventure travel and uh, different ways of living and stuff like that, uh, certainly subscribe to my channel, hit the, uh, you know, the like button and that notification so you know when something's being put up. But uh, from the Wayne Diaries, guys, peace out.